Using a mechanism called Chart Subscriptions, Coastal Explorer can keep your U.S. charts up to date. After a one-time configuration of chart regions and types, clicking the Sync button, this pair of blue arrows here in the upper right-hand corner, provides an easy way to check for chart, software, and guidebook updates, as well as synchronizing your blog with the Coastal Explorer network. Synchronization happens automatically at program startup. Clicking the Sync button initiates it manually. Chart subscription regions only need to be configured once, and here's how you do it. With Coast Explorer in planning mode, go to the main menu in the upper left-hand corner and select Chart Portfolio. In the Chart Portfolio, click the plus Install Charts button. In the Install Charts window, click the Chart Subscriptions button. The Chart Subscriptions window opens, showing three different collections of charts. NOAA RNC, which are the raster charts, NOAA ENC, the vector charts for the U.S., and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers inland waterway charts for the Western Rivers. Each chart collection is broken up into geographic districts or rivers, providing the ability to independently select districts of vector, raster, and river charts to synchronize. Rather than loading the entire U.S. catalog, I'm going to select only the district that I use on a regular basis. Since I live in the Pacific Northwest, I'm going to select District 13 for the raster charts. I'll click NOAA ENC and make the same selection for the vector charts, and I'll click OK. Since I have an internet connection right now, Coast Explorer will check for charts. And it tells me that there is a chart to be downloaded. Updating charts is a two-step process. First, charts are downloaded to a temporary location on your computer. Then, Coast Explorer presents the option to install them, which gets them into your chart portfolio. Coastal Explorer never installs charts without your explicit permission. I'm going to click the Install button, which will install it right now. And there we go. We're now up to date.